Hello, welcome to my channel. This time I will be talking about the goddess Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty in Greek mythology. Who exactly is she? And what are some interesting stories about her? Let's take a look together. Goddesses in Greek mythology are known for their beauty. But is there a Greek goddess who is known to be the most beautiful? The goddess of sex, love, and passion is Aphrodite. She is considered the most beautiful Greek goddess in mythology. Aphrodite was one of the twelve main deities who lived on Mount Olympus. She is a symbol of love, lust, pleasure, and great beauty. However, there are two different versions about her origins. The first version, mentioned by the poet Homeros, states that Aphrodite was the daughter of Zeus, the king of the gods, and Dione, a titaness. The second version, which is based on the works of Hesiodos, states that Aphrodite was born from sea foam formed from the genitals of Uranus, the sky god, which were cut off by Kronos, the god of time, and thrown into the sea. Aphrodite marries Hephaestus. Because of her beauty, many gods wanted to be with Aphrodite. Zeus feared there would be a war among the gods if they fought over her hand. So he married Aphrodite to Hephaestus. Hephaestus was the god of fire who had deformed legs and a hideous face. Aphrodite would not remain faithful to Hephaestus. Hephaestus was the god of fire and a skilled craftsman. Knowing that Aphrodite was unfaithful to him, Hephaestus actually caught Aphrodite and Ares with a chain net in bed together and brought them to Mount Olympus to be displayed and mocked. Due to Aphrodite's beauty, Poseidon, the god of the sea, helped free Aphrodite where she returned to Cyprus. Aphrodite and the Trojan War The Trojan War is a famous war in Greek mythology, which describes the war between the city of Troy and Greece. The war was sparked because Paris kidnapped Queen Helen of Sparta, but Aphrodite was the reason for blaming Paris for kidnapping her. Eris, the goddess of strife, offered a golden apple to the most beautiful goddess, and Zeus assumed Paris would judge their beauty. Athena, Hera, and Aphrodite all tried hard to receive the golden apple. Paris requested that each goddess bring him the best offering. The best offering would determine who was the most beautiful goddess. Aphrodite offered Paris the most beautiful woman in the world, Helen of Sparta. Paris chose Aphrodite's offering from Helen of Sparta and sent for it. Helen of Sparta was already married to Melanaos. Melanaos sent an army to Troy to reclaim Helen, which was the beginning of the Trojan War. Aphrodite and Ares Aphrodite had an intimate relationship with Ares, the god of war, despite being married to Hephaestus. From their affair, a son, Eros, was born. Eros was an Erotes, who was a winged god. Eros is the god of sex and is often depicted with a bow and arrow. Since Eros was the god of sex, lust, and desire, he would take his bow and shoot arrows at people he wanted to give desire to. Have many lovers. Since Aphrodite is the goddess of sex, lust, passion, and desire, there are many myths circulating around her divine powers. Aphrodite had many lovers and relationships with gods and humans. Some relationships were her choice, while others were curses or orders from Zeus. One of goddess Aphrodite's own loves was Anchises, a shepherd whom Aphrodite considered as beautiful as the gods. At first, she hid her identity from Anchises and presented herself as a Phrygian princess. The visible Anchises was enchanted by her beauty, which Aphrodite greatly appreciated. The lovers spent two weeks together in embrace, in secret. Homer's hymn to Aphrodite retells the story of Anchises and Aphrodite. In the myth, Anchises confesses that he would die happy if he could sleep with her. O woman who looks like a god, I am willing, once I am in your bed, to go to the palace of Hades below. Therefore, he took her hand, and Aphrodite, lover of smiles, followed. 
Aphrodite soon learned that she was pregnant, so she revealed her true identity to Anchises. She warned him that he should not tell anyone about their relationship, but Anchises was too astonished. He excitedly told many people about his affair with Aphrodite. Not many humans could say such a thing. As punishment for his arrogance, Zeus, the king of the Greek gods, sent a thunderbolt to injure Anchises' leg. From then on, Anchises was paralyzed. That's a little review of the goddess Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty in Greek mythology. Hopefully this video is useful and adds to your insight. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.